Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. So in this lesson we're going to look at another KC calculation. So in this reaction, which we've got over here, it says that we start by placing six moles of A in a container. Okay, so there we have six moles. Of, so I've gone and drawn six circles of A to represent moles. Now that is before equilibrium. So imagine you are a scientist busy doing an experiment. Well, you would have to throw all of your chemicals into a container. And then it says that we throw in some B, but we don't know how much B we have. But guys, we don't care. Why? Because it's a solid. And remember, solids don't impact our equilibrium at all. So we could even just cross out this column if we wanted to. It's not going to be necessary. Then what we're looking for is we need to be told something about equilibrium. It says here, at equilibrium, there is still two moles of A left over. And so there we have it, guys. So this is before equilibrium. This is at equilibrium. So let me just fill these values in on the table. So initially we have three moles of, we have six moles initially, and then we have two moles at equilibrium. So how many moles, you, this is the part you guys have to understand. To get from equilibrium, I mean to get from this initial part to the equilibrium, there was a reaction that was busy taking place. And that's this part over here. So how many moles of A actually reacted? Well, four, because you had six, you left over with two, and so it means that four of them must have been used up in the reaction itself. And that's why if we do the basic maths over here, six minus four gives us two. So this column here, or this row, is the most important because it relies upon your balanced equation. Now for the initial moles of C, we will assume that that is zero. Now to find the change, we will look at the equation. And the equation shows us that the ratio of A and C is one to one. So if four moles of A had to react, then that means that four moles of C were produced. And so over here, we would have to say plus four. Okay, so this row is the most important. You must understand that because that row comes from here. And so now you just do basic math. So zero plus four is four. And now it's concentration time. Oh, and for that, I would have to have given you the volume. Let me just quickly add that in. And so there we said that the volume is two decimeters. And so concentration, remember, is C equals to N over V. And so your concentration for A will be 2 divided by 2, which is 1. We don't care about B because it's a solid. And then C is going to be 4 divided by 2, which is 2. Now we can calculate the equilibrium constant. Now what's cool about this one is if we look at equilibrium, it looks like the products are dominating. Because if you look here, C is your product, and it looks like we've got more of that. But let's go work out the KC expression. So KC is equal to your products, which is the C divided by your reactants. Now remember, if it's a solid or a liquid, you leave it out of this. Only gases and aqueous. And then we're going to have A like that. There's no exponents because there's a 1 in front of each of those. And so the concentration of C is equal to 2, and the concentration of A is equal to 1, and so your KC value is equal to 2. Now when your KC value is equal to 1, then it means your products and your reactants are perfectly balanced. Not, not balanced, but you've got equal concentrations of products and reactants. If Kc is bigger than 1, it means your products are dominating. And if Kc is smaller than 1, then it means your reactants are dominating. So because we've got a value of 2, it means that the, the products are dominating. And we can see that over here. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. 